Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Daniel and I help photographers around the globe create meaningful portraits and successful businesses. Before I get into today's topic, which is gonna blow you away, I need to go back to my Lightroom Classic library because I feel like this is a moment in time where everything in our history of editing changes. This is an image that I edited about two or three years ago on my channel and I showed you guys how to use the masking tools or the AI masking tools inside of Lightroom to change the little boy's jumper to the browns that you see here. What I'm going to do today is gonna completely undo everything that we know about editing. Let's go back to Adobe Firefly. Now, if you subscribed to either Lightroom or Photoshop or both, Firefly is something that you're going to have access to. What we get to do is click on the generate button right there. And all I'm gonna ask you guys to do is change the model to Gemini 2.5 flash image. Now, if you switched on and know anything about AI editing tools out in the market right now, you'll recognize this as being Nano Banana. So let's change it to that model. What I'm going to do now is load up that image that I showed you into this model, and we are going to use text prompts to change our image. Let's open that. Let's do this. Change the greens of the little boy's jumper to browns respectively. Click enter and let's have a look at those results. Now, at the time that I did this, we were pressed for time and I was working really quickly, so we didn't get a perfect mask. Now, you can spend as much time as you want perfecting these masks to get the end results that you're after. Let's go and have a look at what we got. That is incredible. Just by text prompts, we were able to change the color of the little boy's jumper. Now, it didn't do it properly this time around, my guess is that maybe my prompt wasn't quite there, but I have tried this before. What I'm going to do is head on over to my generation history and I nailed it almost the first time in this result. And I think it's to do with the prompts. In this case here, change the greens of the little boy's jumper to brown respectively, and that's what we have. Look at that, my friends. This is incredible technology. I think the days of selecting things are out of the window. This is probably the way forward now. And there is a bit of a downside to this. I'll get to that in a moment. But let's go and look at a different image. I'm going to look at this one here. A little backstory. It's quite funny. I love creating a lot of energy and a lot of excitement in my shoots, especially when it comes to families. You know, you've got to change your demeanor, you've got to create that excitement for the little kiddos. Now, in this case, I created so much excitement that this guy had a little accident and he had to be changed into these white pair of tracksuit bottoms, which makes him all white. That isn't great. But fortunately, this was at the end of the session. But I'm going to show you something incredible. Let's go out of that and open it in Gemini. Let's get rid of that prompt. And what we're going to do now is type change the little boy's trousers into a pair of brown chinos. I think chinos is gonna work in this case. Let's press enter and have a look at what happens. I had to close my eyes to this because I wasn't sure what was going to happen and the result was absolutely blindingly awesome. Look at that, my friends. This is the next level of editing that we are going to be experiencing going forward. I'm in love with this. I love the speed and for me, speed is everything when it comes to putting out work, doing things like this. Now, of course, I could go into Lightroom or Photoshop and go and change the color of those other trousers. But here's the thing, my friends, this is actually chinos. It didn't just recolor the existing part of that image. It actually changed it completely and it's actually amalgamated everything. The shoes, the lighting, everything is right on the money. Something else over here. Let's give this a try. I usually ask my clients not to wear things with distracting pictures or elements on jumpers and tracksuits and whatever else. As you can see here, we've got this little kitty on her jumper. I'm going to show you something else. Remove the 
cat print from the little girl's jumper. Enter. <laughs> Let's see what happens. This is something that you would mask around and click the generate fill tool with inside of Photoshop. Watch what happens now. There you go. Kabam. It's gone. It's vamoose. It's disappeared without making selections, without clicking generate AI. Now, like I said, there is a little bit of a downside to this and we'll go and explore that right now. Let's download this image and open it up inside of Photoshop. The very first thing you're gonna notice is that when we zoom in, it's very low resolution and that is the downside right now. And it kind of makes it a little bit unusable to deliver to clients, unless of course you use it for social media. Let's go and have a look at what resolution that actually is. Unfortunately, it's 1184 pixels by 85 or 864 pixels by 72 pixels. And that is very low resolution, unfortunately. But this is a step in the right direction. I'm pretty sure that they're going to bump up that resolution and push it towards a usable client resolution. There is, however, a way around this. It's not perfect, but it is a way around this. And that is to use something like Topaz Gigapixel AI. Now I've had this on my system for quite a while. I've never really used it, but this time I did just to see what it'll look like if I try and upscale that resolution. Now it's not perfect. As you can see, we've lost some of those details and it looks a little bit funky, but this is a step in a completely different direction. And I'm pretty sure this is gonna trickle down into our interface inside of either Lightroom or Photoshop, but I can see the power in this. For me, this is a massive time saver, my friends. If you're in a busy studio and you don't have the time to zip around pixels and choose little colors here and there, I would love to have, and this is actually what I envisioned not even half a year ago. I said to myself, imagine sitting here inside software and you could just tell it precise colors to change different garments to and Bob's your uncle. That day has arrived, my friends, and I see this as a massive revolution going forward, or evolution rather. This is going to completely change the way that we edit images. This is incredible stuff, my friends. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, this may be the chance to dive in, click that notification bell to know when I release the next video. So there you have it, folks. Thank you so much for the awesome support and we'll see you in the next session. Cheers for now.